Welcome once again to St Mary's here in Sanderstead and to this short service of evening prayer. As we come into God's presence, let us pause for a moment, bringing the day, its joys, as well as its troubles, remembering Jesus' words that he will be with us until the end of time. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. I love you, O Lord, my strength, for the Lord is my crag, my fortress, and my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and I cried out to God for help. He heard my voice in his temple, and my cry came to his ears. He parted the heavens and came down, and thick darkness was under his feet. He rode upon the cherubim and flew. He came flying on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering round about him, dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice with hailstones and coals of fire. For you will save a lowly people and bring down the high looks of the proud. You also shall light my candle the Lord my God shall make my darkness to be bright. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. So this evening's psalm is Psalm 36. Sin whispers to the wicked in the depths of their heart. There is no fear of God before their eyes. They flatter themselves in their own eyes that their abominable sin will not be found out. The words of their mouth are unrighteous and full of deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and to do good. They think out mischief upon their beds and have set themselves in no good way, nor do they abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, shall save both man and beast. How precious is your loving mercy, O God! All mortals will take their refuge under the shadows of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the abundance of your house, and they shall drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. O continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, nor the hand of the ungodly thrust me away. They are they fallen, all who work wickedness. They are cast down, and shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So the first of our readings this evening is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, beginning at verse 1. Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy milk and wine without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? and your labour for that which does not satisfy. Listen carefully to me and eat what is good. Delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. For see, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander for the peoples. You shall call nations that do not know and nations that do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, 
for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he may be near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. For it shall not return to be empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Our second reading this evening is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 8, beginning at verse 12. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is therefore not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from, or where I am going. You judge by human standards, I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I am the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. Again Jesus said to them, I am going away. You will search for me, but you will die in your sin. For where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, but I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. 
Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. We say together the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. In the evening of the day, we come to you, O God, bringing those we have met for your blessing, our hurts for your healing, our sins for your forgiveness, our labours as our offering, and our lives as our worship. We come to you through our Lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who became like us, so that we might become like him. Lord Jesus, you call us into your church. Help us to leave behind the things we cling to. Coax us with the treasure of heaven and in the age to come, when the first will be last and the last will be first. Allow us simply to be found within your kingdom and to feast at your table, where there is abundant life for all your world. For with you all things are possible, and in your name we pray. God of all hope, may the light of your justice search out the darkness of our world. May the power of your love banish all conflict and despair. And may your ways be known amongst us on earth as they are in heaven that the nations may truly rejoice and be glad, and that all people may live in freedom and in peace. In your hands you hold the souls of the righteous, and in your heart there is room for all people. Shine forth upon all who are tried in the furnace of suffering and illness, especially those who have the coronavirus. In your grace and your mercy, may we know that you watch over us, bringing us at the last to all those who have gone before us in the peace of Christ. This we ask in his precious and holy name. Amen. Eternal Lord, our beginning and our end, Bring us with the whole creation to your glory hidden through past ages and made known in Jesus Christ our Lord. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, and with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.